What's going on you guys? It's your boy Tattooed Angler here and we're about to hit some water right before a front. This front's going to be brutal. Today's supposed to be 47 degrees and tomorrow's supposed to be 51 and then by the end of the weekend it's going to be in the low teens as the high. It's about to get brutal out here. Uh, we just got done with rain. There's some rain tomorrow so the cold snap is about to hit. We're gonna try to see if we can go for some crappie or bluegill or something. It's been a long while since I've been at this lake, at least a month or so since I've been here last. I've been doing a lot of uh, creek fishing and river fishing if you watch uh, the past like five or six videos. So we're gonna give my uh, little old faithful a shot here and see what we can do. But if you like what you see, please make sure to hit that thumbs up, boom, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you aren't subscribed already, and if you are subscribed, thank you. This is Tattooed Angler. You've probably seen this uh, lake in some other episodes. We're just, we're just going to give it a shot and see what we can do. Hopefully, we can get it some. I brought a bunch of crappie stuff, um, crappie nibbles and gel and all sorts of noise. Hopefully, we can muster a bite before this cold front. So, let's go ahead and get out here. All right, guys, so I'm going ultra light. Well, at least not line wise. The line is light, but I got a 180th ounce jig head on with a uh, electric chicken Bobby Garland. I keep seeing swirls and stuff in this area, so I'm gonna try to, you know, toss over there. Not too far. Hopefully I can muster something up. Sorry, I have to be a little loud. I'm right next to this drain. Steadily reel it in. Oh, there we go, guys. All right. Ooh, crapazoid. Cool, it's what we came here for. He a little shy for the dinner plate, but that's okay. There we go, guys. Not bad. Black crappie. Let's go ahead and give him a toss. He's cold. All right. Well, there are fish here. Let's see if we can get us another one. They're really close to the bottom. I mean, this is a shallow piece of water right now anyways, but not bad hopefully i don't get the one uh the first cast uh bad luck hopefully i keep catching them pardon the interruption but i may or may not have had the first fish curse if need be i might switch over to a 132nd ounce just to get out farther All right, so I went ahead and tied on a 132nd chartreuse jig head with a electric pumpkin Bobby Garland on. We're going to see what we can do here. This is only just to get out farther. And quite frankly, I don't even think it's getting out farther like that. GoPro. Oh, you're already on. All right. Well, we got number two. Oh, a little short stack here. Come on. There we go. Nice, another black crappie. All right. That's number two. <laughs> It's been a, a little bit of a struggle. For a second there, I thought you guys weren't with me and I was like, oh, wait a minute, I am, uh, I am filming. I mean, as soon as it hits water, I'm just slowly reeling it back because this water is low. All right, guys, I've not had any luck on the Bobby Garland, but I do have me some crappie nibbles. I just threw it on a 30 second ounce jig head, see what I can do. 
It's very doubtful I'll even get anything, but you never know until you try. There we go. <laughs> First cast with it. Little minuscule little guy. Come here, Gilly. It is a Gilly. There we go. Nice little guy. Let's let him go. Well, at least the nibbles are working. And this is where I tell you the crappie nibbles did not catch anything else. Nothing else was caught. It was turned off. No action in the water. No hits on the bobber to even do anything. I mean, lights out. Um, that is probably one of the worst times I've had at that piece of water, which it's only reason to believe is because of the weather. Um, I mean, half of the country is in, you know, is flooding right now. You know, there's snowstorms, the temperatures are dropping. I mean, it could have affected it very heavily, and the fish know that before even we know it. So, I don't know. It, it was still good to catch a few fish, you know. Um, I did not get the first fish curse, uh, other than the fact that I only caught two more fish after that. But, that's the realities of winter fishing. That's the way it goes sometimes, but you just got to keep on grinding. But if you like what you see, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you aren't subscribed already to see the realities of fishing tattooed angler. Uh, I'm going to get to sleep. Uh, today was brutal, and but I have hope that there will be better days. And I'll see you guys out on the next one. Peace.